one of the most beautiful states of the country. Uttarakhand stands out as a jewel in the crown of India, adorned by glorious mountains, mesmerizing natural beauty and sacred sites. Uttarakhand is heavily frequented by tourists, visitors and pilgrims. Established in the year 2000, Uttarakhand, even after 17 years of its existence, can be approached only by national highways and internal roads. To add a new dimension to Uttarakhand's infrastructure and facilitate the Char Dham Yatra, especially after the 2013 calamity, Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi made a landmark decision in the year 2014 to connect these sites through railways. In addition, the Government of India sanctioned Rs 16,216 crore for the detailed estimated cost of single broad gauge railway line from Rishikesh to Karnaprayag, the execution of which is entrusted to Rail Vikas Nigam Limited. The Government also cleared RVNL for initializing the final location survey of another 327 km rail line which will encircle the Char Dham sites, making them more accessible to pilgrims. Since technically the project is located in challenging mountain ranges, RVNL has employed state-of-the-art technological systems like satellite imagery, digital elevation model, DGPS etc. to complete the crucial initial surveys. With a total length of 125 kilometers, the railway line will pass through five districts of Uttarakhand Starting from Rishikesh in Dehradun, the line will cross Tehri Garhwal, Pauri Garhwal, Rudra Prayag and end at Karan Prayag. Of the Chamoli district, some of the major railway stations will be Rishikesh, Dev Prayag, Srinagar, Rudra Prayag and the destination station of Karna Prayag. Keeping in mind the sensitive ecology of Uttarakhand, and to ensure a safe year-round service in landslide-prone areas, 85% of the 125 km line will be constructed underground. The project is set to have 17 tunnels, of which a 15.1 km tunnel is set to become the longest tunnel ever built in India. Between the 12 stations in its course, the railway line is set to cross 16 bridges, which include road over bridges, road under bridges, and bridges over rivers, gorges and moats. Major bridges amongst these are over river Chandrabhaga in Rishikesh, over river Ganga in Dev Prayag, over river Alaknanda in Lachmoli, Srinagar and Gauchar. This ambitious yet challenging railway line is set to transform the life of Uttarakhand and place it on a route to financial and social development. It will provide a strong boost to tourism, employment, trade and travel and will significantly reduce the diesel and petroleum intake of the state. Most importantly, the tiresome journey of six hours from Rishikesh to Karnaprayag will be cut down to a two-hour long scenic and exciting journey. It will also create a faster, more reliable and safer mode of transport to pilgrims of Sri Badrinath, Sri Kedarnath, Sri Gangotri and Sri Yamunotri. With increased employment opportunities and safe and easier travel, the state will see a sharp decline in exodus towards the plains. In fact, it is expected to set in motion a process of reverse migration being a state with an international border, the railway line will act as a boon to the armed forces of our nation, making travel of personnel and transport of ammunition and artillery easier and faster to the strategic points. The railway line brings a ray of hope to Uttarakhand and is set to become the state's lifeline. By inaugurating this ambitious and glorious project, Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has offered Uttarakhand and the nation a pathway towards development and prosperity.